we are on Vani Research Station and spawned on the top as the Red Terran playing for Nuit Blanche. It is Basier. And his opponent, the Blue Protoss, playing for Team Spec, Kanji. Alright, so Basier, well, um, so far we've only seen his TVT, and, um, well, he handled uh, pressure quite well, and just found a good timing for some counter-aggression. Uh, found a perfect sp timing, to be honest. I mean, um, Narcotic just wasn't ready for uh, counter-aggression at that, at that moment whatsoever. So if he's gonna go for a nice little timing on this map as well, I think um, I think his opponent might run into issues. But we'll have to see. First, um, barracks before gas, but just a tiny little timing be between them. And what about Kanji? Are you, are you gonna go for double gas? Play some early tech? Or just a single gas? Single gas for now? Okay, that works. And he's gonna drone sc uh, probe scout immediately here. But also an early scout coming out of base here. It's interesting, Terrans don't really uh, do that really early scouting anymore all that much. But base here is doing it. And let's see if he's actually gonna see anything here. Um, I mean, the single gas is gonna help, of course. And maybe he's gonna stick around and find out when the second gas is gonna be taken. Of course, Kanji also got in there, uh, saw gas is taken, barracks coming up. Um, Reaper is coming out now for base here. And let's see, base here is gonna scout out the gas, gonna check how much is still left in there, and then find out, okay, the exact timing. Everything is good, and now a zealot is in production for Kanji, and I oh he actually cancelled it, but hasn't started. Um, the production should start now. Come on, produce the core. Produce the core. Nope, he's going straight for the uh, next Nexus, so apparently he's not really expecting this Reaper. Here comes the Mothership Core, but the Reaper is going to be there, and uh, I think he might actually get one or two kills here. Mothership Core is being Chrono Boosted out, but let's check out how their Micro is doing. Oh, that's the Mothership Core coming out, and with that, Reaper is not going to do all that much. He got a single kill, so that's nice, and one of these probes is quite low, so he could come back, maybe dart in, but then again, they recharge, so once these shields are back up, it's not gonna. Uh, it's not gonna be so easy to dart in and do that much damage to take out a probe. Still, Baser is also going for an expand here, um, and that Reaper darting in, and he did get a second kill. So Kanji not really watching out. He is going for some tech now, uh, going for the Stargate, and also producing a Stalker to have an easier time to deal with these Reapers. Of course, Baser is uh, quite fun to see that that expansion is taken. Oh, and he even scouts out the Stargate. Perfect scouting, and this Reaper was definitely worth it already. Even if he dies now. Nope, he's even gonna stay alive. Nice save. So yeah, that's uh, that Stargate scout. Um, pretty amazing for Baser. And immediately going for a Widow Mine. And I'm thinking maybe he's gonna put one over here. Um, just or possibly over the mineral line, we'll have to see. Uh, he also has a few marines to defend uh, against the oracle that's coming out. Is he gonna chrono boost that up? Not quite yet. But possibly just a single oracle? Oh, the reaper's getting back in there. And did he get another kill? No, nope, not quite. And he's gonna die now, but he did get to see all of this. They get to see the saturation over here on the map, uh, on the second base as well. That's nice to know. And the first oracle is almost out. Obo comes as a follow up here. And base here is still producing Widow Mines. And he has that reactor available, but hasn't swapped just yet. There comes the swap. Really wanted to get that Widow Mine out before he does anything. And second Widow Mine sitting right on top of this. Um, 
this eco line, so I think this is pr probably the perfect spot. Let's see if Kanji's gonna fly straight into it. He's certainly heading that route, but he's trying to get there from the left side. Sees the missile turret, he's gonna head off and possibly try to dart in from the other side into the main. But right now, there's a little bit uh, of some drop antics going on here for base here. But, uh, it's tough. It's tough. He needs to pick his fight carefully. Maybe he can spot the Oracle on the right side. Mm, nope. Just gonna be a drop into the natural. Right now, not that much here for Kanji. But Phoenixes are coming out, so this drop might actually get away. Unless he can get rid of the Phoenix. And on the other side, ooh, Hellion run by. But it has been cleared off. Let's see if this drop is actually going to do anything here. Widowmine has been lifted. And can he take it out? Nope, nothing to really shoot at that. Uh, with the overcharge, it gets it. Nice defense here for Kanji. And that Oracle has steadily been um, gathering energy. So he can still dart in there and try to do some damage in the mineral line of base here. Well, base here, uh, adding a couple of barracks, um, going for the for these um, updates, going for the plus one weapons research, going for stim, and adding in a few marauders here and there. Of course, also keeping up with widow mine production. So he seems to like his widow mines, even though this is TVP. They can help out quite a bit, though he needs to realize that Kanji is also going for robo a robo tech, going for thermal lance upgrades, and getting his first colossus out. And Robotech paired with Phoenixes already, that's a really, really strong opening here. Uh, it's gonna fend off any Vikings that could come out for base here. Um, one, if he doesn't, any, doesn't have any Vikings, he can still go for Phoenixes or lift off Marauders, uh, whatever pleases him really. And with the micro he's shown in that defense for, for the natural, I wouldn't be su too surprised to see him lifting off Widow Mines before they burrow. So Baser needs to realize this. Oh, nice pickup. Oh, shouldn't have lost that Phoenix. He really wants to get his Phoenix Kai, uh, Phoenix count as high as possible to have a decent counter force to the Vikings that are coming out. They're being produced right now, two at a time for starport with that reactor. Does help out quite a bit here. And ooh, that's the second Phoenix being being shot at. And Baser, are you really moving out right now? Could be a little bit dangerous here. The Oracle is waiting. Waiting on the edge. And that's um, that's a pretty juicy mineral line, to be honest. And there comes the Oracle. Getting a couple of kills already. Four kills, five kills. It's just so incredibly fast. Uh, it looks like he can get away and didn't take any hull damage here. So just shield damage for now. Kanji still getting more and more phoenixes up. Oh, this, this nexus is under a little bit of pressure, but one of these window mines goes down. Let's see if he can lure out a shot. No, he's just gonna spy step it altogether. But ooh, the mothership core is in trouble. Mothership core goes down. He got out a single force field, which really didn't do all that much. And now the phoenix is not really fighting with the colossus. It's taking a lot of shots here from these Vikings, but now the phoenixes are coming in, clearing this off, and the zealots on the ground clear off the bio force. However, Nexus was it taken out, or I think yeah, I think it was taken out. It was done, wasn't it? So yeah, the oracle still doing a little bit of damage, but I don't think it got any more kills here. 9 kills overall, still, that's not too bad. And that gives Kanji uh, the, well, not the worker lead, but at least the lead in worker kills, so that helps out a little bit, though. But he is behind now, considering that this CC has been working for quite some time. And uh, Baser also using a lot of mules on this expansion. And behind this, just opening up his possibilities with more and more barracks uh, with additional upgrades. I think he's... yeah, he's added in the armory now, so he's gonna go for the plus two upgrades pretty soon. And also ending gas on his third. Meanwhile, keeping up with this Viking production and we'll see. I mean, so far it doesn't look like Kanji is really going for high Templar tech. 
but as soon as Basio sees that, he's gonna go for uh, Ghost uh, as fast as he can. So plus one, plus one upgrades are coming out for our Red Terran. Meanwhile, Kanji is still working on his plus one upgrade. And there we go. Finally adding in that Templar Archive to be able to make that switch happen later on. So you can switch from Colossi to High Templar and get Storm out and have some AoE potential that way. But to be honest, this army doesn't really look that well balanced. He has a lot of Colossi, but not that many gateway units. And that is exactly why he's adding in a couple more gateways just to finally get a real gateway army. Because Col Colossi by themselves, even if you have some Phoenixes to uh, ward them against Vikings, they're not going to do that well, especially not against a huge, uh, huge Marauder force. Um, which is marching against them right now. 12 Marauders, 33 Marines, 9 Vikings, and a couple of Medivacs as well. So that is a pretty decently sized force here for base here. Uh, let's see, these Phoenixes, they're in trouble. Oh, running straight over the Marines! It's two Phoenixes going down straight away. And the Vikings are in the perfect spot to pick off one more. So the Phoenix count is dwindling a little bit here. Whoopsie daisy. One of the observers is lagging. Hmm, 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 hmm. Alright, um, yeah, so he's not keeping up with his Phoenix production anymore, but he need well, uh, the reason is basically that he needs a higher um, gateway army unit count, so he can't really invest into Phoenixes right now, he has a pretty decently sized Colossus army, and he doesn't want to overcommit to Colossi, but instead should go for a greater gateway army and add in High Templars. Storm is almost halfway done. So Kanji has that other possibility for AoE damage. And he's also adding in Immortals now, having scouted out that there are so incredibly many uh, Marauders in the mix for base here. And five more gateways are being added over here. So he's realizing, okay, I, I need a way to just resupply real quickly and get react to the army composition that base here is throwing at me and base here um, I think he's gonna go for uh, possibly the final push here he has 2-2 almost ready uh, even the plus one weapons is on the way and he's adding a lot of command center behind this so he ha definitely has a macro follow-up and ooh, the first class already under attack but a decent storm good defensive storm keeps the Vikings at bay and Kanji is trying to save himself behind the mineral line. I don't think this is going to work all that well. But might um, yeah, might force Basia to wait a little bit longer and to get some ghosts out. But we have a drop here on the right side. And this drop is just so deadly because he's standing right on top of the production. So if he gets rid of three of these pylons, um, that's pretty much it for Kanji as far as um, reinforcements go. That's the next warp in. Oh, nice work. Nice move here, base here. I think he, yeah, he's gonna clear off this natural. Not getting rid of the, um, not quite getting rid of the production, but I don't think he's gonna lose all that much if he reacts now, but nope, there's the drop. Yeah, hot pickup. Did lose about half of his army, but I think this investment was definitely worth it. Let's have a look at the resources lost. Yeah, uh, about 3,000 less than his opponent. And... That's another little run by, warded off here. So base here is definitely, definitely on top of things. He's going for the plus three, plus th three upgrade, and uh, even working on cloak for these ghosts that are coming out now as well. So he's he is reacting to the high templars, and he definitely needed to because seven high templars. That's a pretty decently sized high templar army, and now he's even adding in two archons into the mix. So. He's just gonna not gonna wait for energy to uh, to charge up again on these high templars, but instead gonna go for archons once their energy is depleted. 
But it's all gonna come down to Storms in this next fight. There's still four Colossi out. The base here um, has had a pretty decent Viking count with 18 Vikings. Some Storms being baited out. But our Terran, he needs to watch out not to have these Medivacs or Vikings run into these Storms. Kanji, meanwhile, is uh, using this little bit of a diversion tactic to get a fourth up and running. And base here. He's, can he spot these ETs? I don't think he's realized them, but he has missile turrets everywhere. There's no army to really react. But maybe the reinforcements will clear this off. I think these ETs might actually get some good kills. Six kills already. And no reaction coming out of base here. Now he's moving his entire army back. So Kanji definitely has some good ideas to uh, stay in this game and get back out there. He needs to catch up with his upgrades though. Right now it's 2-2, uh, two, two, almost 3-3. Three, three. And only 2-2 two, two for Kanji. And he's not even working on his 3-3 uh, three, three upgrades. But the fourth base is done and he took the gold base. Just like base here did. So let's have a look at their income. Looks pretty good for Kanji. Um, I think for the next round of mules this will probably almost even out. And then gas wise they're pretty much uh, spot on. It looks like Basir is uh, mostly uh, mostly using his energy for scans, which I like quite a bit. Gives him good map control, and ooh, that's the fourth base going down, and all of these probes will go down. That's that's a costly mistake here for Kanji, but maybe he can make it worth it if he can catch off this army. Ooh, nope, there's a Doom Drop. There's a Doom Drop coming in for Basir. Still a little bit of his army left, and he almost retreated all of his Vikings. Oh, that's all of them. And there's a Doom Drop. He's gonna need a scan to kill off this DT, but I think he's gonna realize it pretty soon. Nope, there's the EMP. That works as well. And I think we're gonna go into a base trade scenario. Not too sure who's gonna clear off things faster here. To be honest, uh, if you're really going for the straight-on base trade, you might as well morph these guys into Archons uh, once Storms are used up. Because I think they're a little bit more of a uh, sustainable damage output, so it's definitely one thing they could go for. So base here is clearing up the main base. Meanwhile, uh, Kanji's still over here. A little bit of production going on for base here. Maybe he can move his units over and create a little bit of a stronger force since Kanji did get um, more expansions over here and he's trying to rebuild on the left side of the map as well, having retreated most of his probes. So, yeah, I think um, Acer might need to reevaluate his strategy, but he's still doing a little bit of damage here and decreasing the size of this force. He still has the better army uh, with 3-3 uh, three, three upgrades and a little bit better army supply, 126 versus 93. But it looks like Kanji is turning around now. I don't know exactly why, because really Basis army hasn't decreased in size, so there's no real reason to go for, uh, go for another race here again and try to find the army. But if Baser actually finds this Nexus, that could spell doom here for Kanji. I think he had the right idea to rebuild over here, but... There's the next fight coming in. Guardian Shield has been used, and... Kanji, are you gonna connect with this army or not? Those are coming in, and they're spotted out almost immediately. But they did off, get off a decent snipe. Most of these units without shields. So Basir should use this time and actually go for the counter-attack. He's kind of scared of these Colossi, rightly so, but with so many Vikings I think he's gonna clear them off and just walk away with his bio army. Perfect, perfect control here. That's still a pretty strong Protoss army coming in from the left side, but no. Just so many Marauders and the 3-3 helping out quite a bit as well. I think he's gonna clear this off. And uh, with that, win the match. I don't think that Kanji really has anything going for him now. <laughs> oh well, no real GG, but hey.